Welcome to Rust Turned. Rust Turned is a Rust mod in Unturned. Today is the beginning of a brand new series and this is episode 1. If you guys want episode 2 to come out soon, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Feel free to join my triple mythical giveaway, link is in the description. And let's get straight into the video. Okay, looks like my, most of my lockers are still here, but there's actually no loot. I don't know what the hell happened. There's some loot here and there. I've played on the server a couple of days ago, and I do. I used to have a lot of loot, but I think I got traded. Oh yeah, I did get traded. Yeah, I got, there's a huge hole in my base. Okay, that's okay though. I kind of wanted to start fresh anyway, but then I remembered that I actually already have a base. We'll start fresh then, no problem. I'll put that gun in vault, so we'll actually have a start, and I will suicide. I don't want to build close to harbor again, and we'll have a new base so people don't already know where I live from previous videos. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is a bag. Okay, we got a bag. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mine. I'm probably just gonna build the base very close to junkyard and to the dome because over there there's a desert very close. That means that we're just gonna get a bunch of ores that we really need. So now I'm just gonna mine a bit and start a base. I'm gonna build my base here, very close to military tunnels at the same time, very close to junkyard. I noticed there's a lot of sulfur and stone around. I'm just gonna build it right over here. We got 50 stone and now I'm just gonna build two by one. base is finished. Now I did hear some shots very close to a military tunnel. I'm probably just gonna go over there with the with the SAR that I have. If I die then I'll just lose the SAR which is currently my only decent weapon. Then I do have a Balti but I don't really like running around with the Balti. Yeah I barely have any Thompson ammo as well. We're gonna go give it a try. Hopefully we don't lose this this weapon. I'm shooting a nail gun. I don't think they even know that I'm pushing them right now. How the hell is he not dead? There we go. I see what loot he had. Okay, he's actually kind of geared. Metal. We got ourselves a better pickaxe than the one that we've had. I'll take everything. We got ourselves 30 logs, 20 metal, a bunch of rope, a bunch of blades. That rope, I actually have an idea what I'm going to use it for this time. Because I'm thinking of building a really huge base and the only way to get up is with a leather hatch. Which I'll, I'll show you guys pretty soon, but I basically need a lot of rope for that. The airdrop landed right over here, very close to my base, thankfully. Hopefully, nobody got to it already. And maybe there's some good loot in there. Maybe a AK or a LR. Or not, an Eoka pistol. Okay, well, we did get like 10 frags. The, this airdrop has to be the worst airdrop I've ever found. An Eoka pistol and the bow and the bucket helmet. And the right helmet, actually. That's kind of okay. All right, back to base. Oh, wait, I made it to this. But actually, having two beds is kind of okay. Because now whenever I need to loot harbor, I could just come to this bed. The server allows, like, you could claim up to four beds. Okay, and the leather hatch has been crafted. Now, basically, a leather hatch is this. And I have two ladders. I'm gonna salvage this one. I, <laughs> I didn't know you actually come up with a ladder. I thought it was a normal hatch. Every time you open it, it just drops a ladder right next to you. It's like real rust, basically. But that's really smart, actually. Even for raiders, you know? the only They can't go up, basically. Especially if you have TCs everywhere. Okay, so next I'm just gonna probably build the second floor full metal. Alright, we got another one by one over here, full metal, and we'll place the tool cupboard right over there. Probably for now, the load will probably be moved up there. Now, I did notice there's a lot of big bases in the area, so we're probably... First thing that I'm gonna try to do next is, you know, stack up, get a lot of loot, get a lot of gear, and then I would probably just try to raid neighbors. If they do come online, they, they don't have all of that gear to raid me, you know? First, I'm gonna continue building up here. I wanna have a pretty big base today, I don't really wanna have a small base, so I will make layers of honeycomb all around, I do have some ideas what I wanna do, so let's get straight to that. Get myself a bunch of wood, try to make some crates, we'll code lock, put them right over here for now. Elite crate. Okay, well some, some bodies, and we got ourselves a locker, actually not that bad. Lockers are pretty useful right now, since I don't really have that much space. Okay, so next I'm just gonna honeycomb all around the base. Well, the floors are down now, just gotta p place a billion stone pillars all around this. All just for honeycomb, by the way. This 2 by 2 will be the first loot room at the bottom floor. Now we're just gonna make a door, and we'll make ourselves four roofs, and bam, another loot room. Honeycomb is starting to take shape as well. We're starting to do the roofs, full metal, obviously. Okay, we'll actually put the main doorway right over here, and then we'll just do a wood ramp over here. Okay, so over here, I'm just gonna start placing TCs inside the honeycomb. And the first floor is pretty much finished. Full honeycomb. Now obviously we're gonna start building up the second floor. 
because the main loot the main loot room will not be on the first floor you know that's kind of stupid to do another line of security around my base i will put these external walls all around the base probably make even more than one layer another elite crate right over here and we got what sort of garbage we got two handmade sites oh salvage pickaxe okay that's actually not that bad our base is starting to look pretty damn good actually this guy right over there hit another hit and he's dead okay let's go check out what he had okay well um, some components uh he had a crossbow though you know the honeycomb is working when you actually start getting lost in your own base i have no clue where i am right now we're literally honeycombing everywhere with metal right now ain't nobody gonna raid our base with just two c4 no i hit him wait what oh i died there was a three man team outside my base He's dead. I'm pretty sure the other teammates right over over there. But they ran away with the rest. I basically lost the SAR though. Clothes aren't really that insane. Alright, let's take everything and home. They started running away from me. I headshot them like with the bolt. And then they ran away. Ouch. LRs, bro. I have a crossbow. What the hell am I gonna do? Oh wait. Saved you. I saved you. Oh, thank you. Wait, so this guy just killed those guys that were door camping me. Keep the loot, I don't think. I really don't oh, custom. All right, well, these were the same guys that were door camping me. Now I got all of their loot. Let's go. All right, we've been grinding solver for around like two hours. And now I'm just gonna make as much gunpowder as possible. And then I'll just start crafting C4. We literally don't have, <laughs> we don't have like any PvP weapons except like the Tommy and the MP5 and like custom SMGs. That's literally it. Yeah, now I'm just gonna craft C4. And then if we do find the base raid in a quiet location, we'll just hit it up and hopefully we'll get ourselves what we need. Looks like there's some stuff in there. We're gonna give it a shot. I do have myself a couple of C4. Should hopefully be enough. I'm pretty sure it's two though. And we got ourselves six in total. Alright, one more should be enough. Yes sir, and all the loot is on the floor. Alright, well some gunpowder, 50 sulfur, some metal, some logs as well. This is not that bad, you know, it's not that bad. Better than not getting anything. Okay, another base raid. Two charges. Come on, just give us some good guns at least. Uh, 30 stone, 30 sulfur, 10 suture kits, and 5 road signs. Well, this was bad. This was even worse than last one. I'll take everything though, because it's technically all useful. Okay, so those weren't that bad raid. Definitely don't have enough to raid more. Now, there is a big base very close to us that I want to go raid, but it has high quality metal, so we definitely need to farm way more. Also got myself an AK from an elite crate, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's going to be our main weapon for now but i'll keep it involved and if i ever need to take it out really quickly i'll just have it over there there's a boat somewhere oh there he is how the hell is he not dead what the hell i hit him like like 10 times with this thompson i actually have no idea where he oh wait finally Dude, i had to use the whole magazine to kill him there most of them were actual hits let's see what he had oh an ak Okay, AK, selfish pickaxe, some syringes. All right, well, that's not that bad. The, the Thompson damage was actually pretty bad, though. But I'm happy that we got another AK. Second AK, let's go. Okay, we're back from some more farming. And we're just gonna craft some more C4. Got ourselves a ton of sulfur. Our inventory is kind of organized. Okay, got myself 9 C4. Hopefully it's enough. If I remember correctly, it's 8 C4 for each high quality, like, roof. So we should have enough. One, two... Three, four, five. Oh, well, this broke. I could probably go down then. And then if I'd like, I just TP back. Let me put those in there just in case there are sentries. But there's just more honeycomb. I was raiding a roof that's just a part of a honeycomb. Let's go. I definitely don't have enough then. I'm rubber. I'm gonna die. But I died. Wait, some stuff is glitching up. Armored walls? What? Wait, there's some stuff down here. Syringe and LR mag. Wait, I think. <gasps> no, wait. The, the loot inside is. It's 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 getting raided. So that means that it's gonna despawn soon. Wait, it didn't break. Dude, I'm out of C4. It's at 100 HP. Oh, dude, it's all gonna despawn and I have literally no C4 left. I need to craft one really quickly. Okay, got another C4. Let's go. Oh, wait, whatever. <gasps> wait, everything is down here. Oh my, oh my God, look at this loot. Dude, 
Wait, let's just put in vaults instantly. That's extra space. There's so much guns. Look at this. Wait, let me drop them so that they don't despawn. Dude, look at all of these MP5s as well. Rocket launcher, AK, a billion charcoal. There's even... This is insane. Oh my god. Well, I have to take as much stuff quickly as possible and depot. I'm gonna drop them and pick them up and drop them so they don't, like, their despawn timer resets. Look at all of this loot. Okay, we still need to go in, though, because I'm pretty sure there's more loot inside. Wait, Nicole is saying that she did get in somehow. Hold on, I was crafting, uh, I crafted another C4 in the meantime. I still have a bunch of explosives. Wait, let me put them in vault then. Oh, wait, she did me. Oh my god. Look at this. There's, dude, there's, like, 100 metal, 100 high quality. There's, like, another 100 here. There's like 200 scrap as well. Holy hell, this base rate is good. I didn't expect this. I thought we were gonna lose everything because of our simple wall. And there's two lockers in there as well. Pro C4. The last C4 that we have. Oh my. There we go. There we go. We have our LRs finally. We've got ourselves five LRs. And a bunch of, a bunch of fuel as well. Dude, I'm really happy with this base raid. I am so happy with this raid. It's actually unbelievable. All right, time to take everything depot. Some stuff did despawn, unfortunately, but we did we did get the majority of the load. We did get everything that was still there. 300 sulfur, 500 scrap. Actually, a really good base raid. Okay, we're back. I did manage to craft myself another C4. And looks like one of the walls is extremely low. It's at 95 HP, so one C4 will be enough. Hopefully, it's not gonna be a waste, though. But it looks like it was, a, was actually a waste. Yep. Oh, wait, there's actually... Oh, there's actually some stuff. Okay, another LR. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the first episode. Now, trust me, stuff is going to get much more intense. We're gonna get ourselves much more into PvP and much more insane base raids. So if you guys want to see more episode 2 to come out as soon as possible, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!